Hello, everybody. I am Allison Fry. I am a mental health advocate and the host of the Allison in Wonderland Mental Health Podcast. I wanted to talk to everyone about suicide prevention before we hop into any other topics. I started this journey of being a mental health advocate after losing my brother in 2007 and my mother in 2010 as a result of mental illness and suicide. This makes suicide prevention a very strong passion that I have. This has led me down the journey of over 15 years of being an advocate for suicide prevention and mental health. This is the reason that I hop on episodes multiple times a week to discuss my personal lived experience and the experience that other people have had in mental health. I talk to experts, I talk to authors, I talk to people that have just lived through things in life that they want to share so that you can feel a little less alone in whatever you're going through. What's really important about this though is that I am a mental health advocate, which means I talk about mental health all the time. You cannot get me to shut up about it. I am not a medical doctor. I am not a healthcare professional. So I'm an advocate. I talk about these things. But what I want to make sure that you really take away from this is that there are so many resources out there for help when you're in a crisis state. The National Suicide Lifeline has recently changed their number to a three-digit dialing or texting code. This is 988. When you text or dial 988, you can get in touch with someone local to you that is able to help you through the crisis state and find the resources that you need in order for you to know what the next steps are. This is not only a number for someone that is having suicidal or self-harm thoughts. This is a number for anyone in the country to get vocal resources to help those that they love. You may think, I will never meet this number. I do not have suicidal thoughts. I would never end up in that state. And if you never end up in that state, my heart is so happy for you. But what you might not be prepared for is when someone enters your life directly or indirectly and they are having suicidal thoughts or self-harm thoughts and knowing what to do in that moment is something that really we're not prepared for. Just most people do not know. I've lived through this and have been a mental health advocate for over 15 years and I have used the suicide lifeline many times in the past to help people that I am connected to or that are connected to my connections with getting the help that they need in the area that they're in. So when you think about it, especially after COVID, we are very remote and you may have a friend or a loved one that lives in a whole different part of the country issue, but you can text or call 988 and they will help you and help guide you to get to that person resources in their area. They will help you with how to talk to the person about how they're feeling and getting them out of that crisis state. It is so important to understand that suicide is preventable. And those moments when someone is in crisis and are having extreme suicidal thoughts and ideation, those are the moments that we need to all jump into action. But sometimes we need help too. And that is why the Suicide Lifeline is there. It is there to help people in crisis and it's there to help us help people in crisis. So please remember, I'm not a healthcare professional you should always talk to your doctor or your mental health professional that you work with before you make any changes in your daily life that affect your medical or mental health state. I am not the person to take that advice from. I am here to share my story and to give other people a place to share their stories. 
If you or someone you know is in a state of crisis, 988 is there for you. If you cannot remember this number or you want immediate care without having to reach out to anyone, go to your nearest emergency room. You can call 911. You can, you in a state of crisis can go to the emergency room. You can take someone that's in a state of crisis and they're, and then are willing to go and want the help to the nearest emergency room. So if you don't want to call or text 988 or you forget the number, because honestly, you're in a very stressful situation if this comes up, 911 is still available. The emergency room is still available. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this message. I really hope that everyone understands that suicide is preventable. And it's something that we all need to work on on a daily basis. We can save lives in ways that we never realized that we could.